grew up watching my father, who uh, for quite some time uh, was attempting to be, I guess, an illustrator or a visual artist in some sense. He ran a, um, a portrait and craft store in Metamora, Indiana. You know, we lived in the middle of nowhere, so I was pretty much by myself. Like As a kid, I could recite offhand the opening like rolling lines um, in the entire script and a good portion of the closing credits of Star Wars A New Hope. You know, there wasn't internet or cell phones, so I got to draw or play magic cards or read comic books. I looked at art school for it as a chance for me to actually enjoy school, um, to actually enjoy going to classes and enjoy what I was doing in them. Coming into art school was like, well, I can draw, I can do this at art school, but I didn't know like what kind of a career I was going to make for myself. And I was given the opportunity to refine that and um, turn it into something, make something out of myself with it. When you're flipping through a record bin, you're exposed to whatever art direction or whatever visual motif has been prescribed to this music. The selling point of getting someone to listen to what you're doing without, with no prior connection or conception of you know, whatever your work is. The selling point is you know, the visual aspect, it's the cover. It's that 12 inch LP, you know, and you flip through it in the A's and there it is. This is one I've been working on most recently. It's um, almost completed. I want to create an intriguing, dynamic and relative image that you know, correlates not only to what I'm trying to say, but the recordings, the emotive qualities behind those recordings, the meaning, you know, I just, I want it to be a complete package. I want it to be honest. You know, I want to affect someone with that in a positive manner. I've learned how to think in a multi-dimensional manner, I guess, from the Art Academy. This is, um, it's actually the other half of my thesis exhibition, drawing portraits of people and then um, transposing them to trading cards, which I'm gonna print and cut and package. I would like to be a freelance illustrator. I would love to be 70 years old and die at my drafting table with a pencil in my hand. Like, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm.